Hey guys, Ashley from Book Tomato here. Today we're talking about Madeline. And she has always been a character I have held in my heart. She's feisty, she's adventurous, she's kind. And the oil painting pictures of those 12 little girls in two straight lines tromping through perfectly Parisian scenes are forever etched in my mind. Here are five things that I didn't know about the world of Madeline. Author Ludwig Bemelmans was a renaissance man with a rocky start, a father that left his mother for their nanny, several grade school expulsions, getting deported to America because he may or may not have shot a man. Old Ludwig had a rough go. His first attempts at writing were rejected by publishers again and again until he wrote Madeline in 1939. It was his big break and jetted him into the book business as a writer and as a painter. Madeline broke the gender mold. She's opinionated, strong-willed, and always getting into mischief. Not the norm for the 1940s. Aristotle Anassis, that's Mr. Jackie O, commissioned Bemelmans to paint 15 Madeline murals for the playroom of his yacht. And in 1999, those murals sold for almost a million dollars. And Bemelmans was actually unique as an artist because he was rich off of his art while he was still alive. He's one of those lucky artists. It was very important to Bemelmans to show respect to his young audience and never dumb down his writing. He said, we are writing for children, not for idiots. The last lines of every Madeline story, and those lines are, that's all there is, there isn't any more, were borrowed from actress Ethel Barrymore. She was famous for ending her shows with the same lines. Her last name is familiar because we all know her great niece, Drew Barrymore. Well, there you have it. Five things I didn't know about Madeline. For more kids' book fun, you can find me at booktomato.net, on Instagram, and on Twitter. I'll turn off the light and shut the door, and that's all there is. There isn't any more.